Jesus' name. Amen. Now let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you this morning, this evening. I glorify your name this moment for your goodness and your mercy. I thank you because you are Almighty. And I thank you for what you are going to do right now and what you are going to do next. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit come and take us. Lord, every program and the plan of the devil against us to work against the message, I command this part to be bind and chain and cast over the feet in Jesus' name. Amen. But I pray that your Holy Spirit will come down. Lord, without you, we can do nothing. Come now, manifest your power, and let the world hear about you, and amen their ways. That all glory, honor be given to you alone. In Jesus' name, I cover this facility with the blood of Jesus. Lord, any sin and unrighteousness, O oh God, that can hinder the move of God in our life, that can hinder the message, this message I pray, forgive us our sins and unrighteousness, the one we know and the one we don't know. Give us the grace, O oh God, that abide in your tabernacle forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Use the blood of Jesus and wash and make everyone righteousness and wickedness. As I'm going to release this message to the world. But I pray that your Holy Spirit touch the hearts of the people and let them acknowledge your word and test the spirit and know you are the God of holiness and righteousness. And for them to amen and let your spirit take over the earth and give us the grace and power to achieve our purpose on earth. In Jesus' name we pray. I hand over the message over to you. O oh God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, only you will know it. We take glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Uh, by the grace of God, uh, this message is going to the Americans. And uh, by the grace of God, my name is Prophet Elijah Abba, the founder of HBBL. HBBL, Hephaniah's Bible Delivery Ministry. And I am here to speak to America and also to let them know the winner of the next election. As I normally do, by the grace of God, I cannot just prophesy, I cannot just say without permission from the Almighty God. And listen to me, whatever you hear me say, believe it. And it shall come to pass exactly how I say it. Praise the Lord. So, please, as you are watching me, and you are American, uh, you are a politician in America, please be attentive to listen to this message. And if it's possible, please, you can send it to President Chitron and other people to know the plan of God and the warnings of God concerning America. Uh, I, I, I will go directly to the point because of our time. Uh, by the grace of God, uh, I'm going to review some revelations about my trip to America in the spiritual realm this morning. And I thank God it was successful. And that is how I normally move in Asura. Uh, to settle some cases which needed spiritual settlement. Those that are spiritual will understand me quite well. Right. So, as I said before, please listen to us very carefully and please take the message to the Americans and the good Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. As I want to say, Amen. So, as I continue, remember the Hermian's Bible Ministry is located at Ghana. West Africa, and I urge you to, you know, also be watching us live on the Lord days and on the uh, on Lord day morning and the evening, and also when it's day like this, it's always be live to give you the message of the kingdom. The same the message of the kingdom that God said, the message of the kingdom shall be preached all over the whole world before the coming of our Lord Jesus. Now, today I'm coming directly from Hebrew Bible Ministry Branch Accra, live uh, bringing to you the message of, uh, of the warnings and the election result of America. And uh, yeah, as I start uh, my journey to America through the Spirit, which took place on 4th. 5th, 2019, in the Hebrew calendar, 
but on the world calendar, it happened just today, fourth night, which is September 2019. I repeat, in our church calendar, which is every day calendar, is on the fourth fifth 2019, which is the fiftieth month of a uh, heavenly calendar. But uh, the worldly calendar is at 4 9 2019. And I was sleeping, the Spirit of the Lord took me up, and I saw myself on the air moving, as I normally do. This is not my first time. Amen. And as we are about to enter America, I'm talking about it happened this morning, this early morning, today. Today. Amen. Pray Jesus. Uh, as we are about entering into America, I saw another man, as a white man came against me to attack me on the air, maybe to hinder me not to penetrate. It is the a spiritual affair. The spiritual men and women will understand me. But the Lord helped me as the man came, the same at the air to stop me not to penetrate into America. It was in a white man call. I saw another man as a white man called, okay? When, they, when he came to attack me, but the Lord helped me to speak very fast to instead that the spirit in the, man, in the white man form was not able to identify my direction. So as I arrived, the Lord first of all showed me how the blacks came and take over that part of America at the first time. Please, as I am about to describe where I went or I came in, Af in America this morning, I physically, I never come to America before. But as I continue to describe the place, many of you who are in America will know the place. So the first, the Spirit showed me when the black who we are there, came there, New. The place was bush and the little hills were there. I saw women and children. All are blacks. I did not see any white man over there. Praise the Lord. And I saw that many of them were lamenting and complaining. How they are being treated by whites. Please get my prophecy clear. This is my spiritual journey to America this morning. So the blacks are complaining, lamenting on the way that the white Americans are treating them. So the spirit took me again to another side where I saw also many blacks. So all the men that were there also lamenting, and I was trying to know what was happening, what was just going on. I saw that they began to tell me that the whites always come to that to their place and kill people and do anything they like and go. So this uh, may be the, uh, the old days, the time the, the, the black came uh, from their slavery, when they, when they are liberated, they, they, they came in this particular place, I'm talking about America, after everything. I don't know, is it not America? I'm hearing not America, but if you are American, please, and you have been there, please check what I am saying. You are going to get and, and get exactly where I'm talking about. This place is only the blacks that inhabited that even from the beginning. They are the ones who developed the place. As I'm saying now, the Americans will get me right and make sure you begin to imagine, begin to think where I am talking about because I know I visited there this morning, early in the morning. Praise the Lord. So the place in those days uh, was uh, the blacks came there after it's like when they are liberated from slavery that is where they, uh, they, 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 they live at the first time and they take care of the place and develop it maybe today the place will be a very great place but I'm telling you what happened with thousands of years and uh, I saw all of them at that particular place praise Jesus but all I discovered is that people are lamenting of what the whites did to them and also doing to them so all the men that were there also lamenting and as I was trying to know what, they, what was happening, I saw that they began to tell me what the whites normally do to come to, you know, kill people, uh, myself treat them badly and go. This is what has been happening 
for thousands of years ago. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. As I always say, amen. amen. So, you know, uh, when God is about revealing to his messenger, he will reveal people there what happened many years and the thing that is still happening now. I'm going to give you what happened now and what has happened already to prove to you that by the grace of God, the prophet of God is here. Amen. Amen. So the Spirit took me again to another place as I continued, where I saw the flags and I see they are doing what they are lamenting. So many of them were afraid. So as the Spirit is trying to show me the town, as I was passing in their midst, I discovered that in the, in the town, the black Christians are the people you will see first as you are entering into the area. Even the Christians black, they are blacks, they are Christians living in the particular in the face place. But when you go inside the town, you will meet where black Muslims live also. And I was about to come out. As I was about to come out because I was patrolling, as I was about to, to come out, praise the Lord. And someone say amen. amen. So as I was about to, you know, to come out, I discovered that in town, I saw, I saw at least the gates of President Trump came there to do campaign. Praise the Lord. This one is now what's happening now as the election is on the way so that the black can vote for them and review to President Trump why it looks somehow like, like black is not free. I, I, I will refuse to him so someone should give him this message, give him this message for him to correct, for him to amend there is something going on and uh, he is not uh, uh, you know caring about that but is harming even Christian and even having harming God. So uh, as I was about coming out from the place, I saw the politicians, the, the delegates from uh, uh, President Trump, it's like they are doing campaign for the blacks to vote for them. Amen. But I saw some of the blacks saying, you are killing and hating us, but you are coming for us to vote for you. So after that, the spirit made me to know that the blacks and white Americans are acting like lovers, but they are enemies. Praise the Lord. So listen to me. I don't know all this before until today. I discovered that the black American and the white American are just acting like lovers. But inside me, they are enemies somehow. So the Spirit now gave me this message to Mr. Trump, Donald Trump, the Mr. President, that before his mission be accomplished, we have to bring peace between the white and white Americans and the black Americans. And any form of discrimination must be dealt with. Any form of discrimination must be over, abolished, must be dealt with. And that and uh, that as a Christian prison, that you have not to discriminate, that there must be an equal right and equal justice. The Lord made me to know that many of the blacks are not supporting him, uh, which him the Trump, President Trump, does not mean they are not appreciating his effort in America, but it's only because of the discrimination. So the Lord wants that the President G. Trump should make sure he repent from any form of discrimination before he will leave office. Though the Lord told me that the coming election in America, he will still occupy the seat of presidency, for he is the winner. Mean Trump is ready to win the American president from now. And so what clap clap for Jesus. So I am also giving an example that the election is not again as I did when Ghanaian's Ghana election was coming in 2016. I gave the Ghana election result a six months before the election. And that is how the spirit is still repeating again. So in America, I say that the Trump will still occupy the seat of that presidency for it to win us. The Lord told me also to let the Americans and the Christians over the world to know that we should not panic. That after President Trump, that he, he God, has prepared another handsome man to continue from the good work that President Trump started. 
And he, God, will not allow any satanic agent to take the seat of power in America for now. The reason of that is so that, they, so that he can delay the hand work of the Antichrist. So I want this message to go all over the Americans, even to be Mr. President, if possible, so that the enemy will not see any gap into America. Amen. So please, uh, if you have seen what I just said here, by the grace of God, uh, the blacks and the whites are acting as lovers, but they are indirectly in it. What is the problem? Discrimination. So please, are you a white American? Are you a black? Please, there must be unity there. No, many will not understand, but those blacks will understand what I'm saying, because that's what I saw, and my God cannot lie to me. I have tested my spirit, tested where I'm coming from, and I proved them correctly and accurately right. So please, I want to appeal to the blacks, American also, that I have to bear with the white and live in peace, no matter what is going on there. And uh, I, I wanted to present Trump that the Lord is giving you a serious warning to make sure you accomplish your mission by bringing unity between the white and the black. And it must be equal, equal justice. The Lord said equal justice. It must be equal justice and equal rights. Yeah, the Americans are for united. There are many, but they have to be united. Though I am not yet there before, I know once that I'm going to go there, even to go to the place I, I came this morning in the spiritual realm. So please, uh, white Americans, be careful and overlook what have passed a long time ago and focus. Our God is a God of peace. As a presence of America, as a Christian, listen, all you need to do is to do the work accordingly with love. Please, go to the blacks and make peace. Make sure that you link the, the, the black to the white and let there be unity. Without that, your work is, is, not, is still yet not perfect. So, all Christians should keep on praying until the plan of God be accomplished in America. Praise the Lord. So, please, uh, I'm just going to round up with this. So, if you have any question, uh, about what I'm just saying, you can type us in my uh, how our Heavenly Anderson TV or if you get us in, a, in our YouTube Heavenly Anderson Believing Ministry. Uh, you, 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 you will understand us or write to me and also follow us in the, 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 the friend of Promise Elijah movement. Now, from there, you are going to get all my messages and also know what I'm saying is true. And uh, by the grace of God, I'm not talking praise on, uh, I'm not talking praise on uh, uh, whatever physical. I'm talking about uh, a spiritual matter here. So please uh, let the world unite. And America is the God, God uh, uh, nation, which God wants to use to, to take care of us, to in at least allow the mission of the end time to accomplish because now I'm telling you without American the Christian are in trouble. But Christians should not worry. I prophet Elijah I am here to say what the Lord say I should say. Without looking face and without evil children. The Lord is with me. So please Americans it's a time of unity. Don't act at lovers but our enemies. We are one, the same flesh, the same blood. So, uh, I ask also that the Christian over the world should also unite and bring peace even in Africa and let not no discrimination. The devil is coming with a heavy discrimination and that discrimination will make us not to be a believer. Imagine a church, you will only see the white, the other side you will only see the black, only black. It's not, it's not, it's not okay. It's not okay. In a Christian, there's nothing like discrimination, there's nothing like that. Except the person is ready to land in hell. So, Mr. Jindron, my uh, strong brother, I know you come for a good place, but you must make sure that you finish the work without discrimination, with, with a perfect heart and a perfect mind. Forget about the color. Make sure you bring everything accordingly to the mission of God. After when we die, no one knows whether. Uh, if someone is black or someone is, is, is one color or the other. So please, if they must, please pass these messages in the WhatsApp and um, 
uh, in YouTube to release so that you can be able to, to get to G Tron for him to know where he has gotten all things wrong. Though he's trying, he make an effort to defend the God in this end time. But still, if you read the Bible in the book of Revelation, and you discover in chapter 2, even chapter 1, verse 14, and, and chapter 2, uh, verse uh, 20 to 23, you discover that God always said, I have a few things against you. Trump, the Lord is having a few things against you. Don't have your back all the time. But God Almighty is having a few things against you, and that is discrimination. Please go and pray. Or call your wise men around you for them to inquire and know what the prophet is saying. I pray for you that God will keep you going. For the repent from discrimination. Repent from in the image. Some, somehow I cannot call it injustice because you are making an effort. But I want everything to be equal right. Equal right and no discrimination. And the good Lord will get you back to your seat, which he has prepared for you. Just 2020. Get it. And then go back to your seat. Which he has prepared for you. Just 2020. Get it and claim it because I know that my God cannot die and it must come to pass. No power can challenge it. And uh, by the grace of God, people should know what I'm saying. After the present Trump presidency will expire and some four years or some five years they're coming, there must be another Christian who is coming to take that seat without any, it's going to, in fact, in fact it's going to be uh, extraordinary as also the President Jim Trump. I don't know how it's going to happen, but just watch it. And the guy arrived today, it's going to happen clear. His demand is going to be as Jim Trump is going to face the main point and begin to kick up his evil. The same thing the Lord prayed brought the present Trump uh, uh, miraculously in that city. The same way I'm talking about the man is going to be a handsome man. The man is going to be a, a gentleman who is going to repeat and then back prison. So are you satanic? Are you a, 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 a satan messenger? Listen to me. You have to back because the Lord God of Abraham, the Lord God of Isaac, and the Lord God of Jacob have come real to fight for the Christian. Yes, I mean it. So I begin to pray as I round up right now. That the good Lord God of Abraham has a will allow this message to go to prophet, uh, 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 prophet Jethro to make sure that amend and make sure that we have equal right and equal justice in America and the glory of God will take control of that country. Can someone say amen? And I pray to pray for all anointing and grace. Abba, Father, look not into the sins of the poor, but intervene and use the American in this time and develop the Christian love and help us to accomplish our mission before the Antichrist in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, I pray that the good Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob will take over, take over, take over and bless us in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I need mean to pray for as many who have heard this message. Let the good Lord, the God of Abraham, the good God of, God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob go before you and deliver you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye.